Hi boys and girls, this is Abby. I'm back and uh, I'm gonna do some video today. I know last time I told you I was gonna make a cut for, but uh, I, I ran out of some kind of spices to make butter. So I'm gonna do the, the I mean, uh, cut for our next video. So today I'm gonna show you easy way how to make a fulfill. I mean, if you're vegetarian, if you don't like meat, this is for you, okay? And uh, we're gonna, it's simple and easy, and less than five, 10 minutes, you have your fulfill ready, okay? So here, right here, I have it. I have a, I have a small onion, or if you have a big one, just make it half, and then one tomato, and then one uh, jalapeno, or if you like, you can put more, but I'm just gonna make one injera. Injera is one injera when you make a fulfill, it's enough for three people, so you don't need to make too many. Just I'm gonna make one, and then I have my garlic right here, and then I have my ginger. <coughs> and I put everything in my gin, my food, like the garlic and ginger. I always put it in it, whatever I cook, because it's good, and it does make food taste good, okay? So, I'm gonna cut, um, my onion in half. And then I'm just gonna do a line. Make it so thin, okay? Get your pan. And then, looks like that. So we're gonna put it in the stove. And I'm gonna put a medium high heat. I'm gonna use my olive oil. I use everything, olive oil. And I use everything, you know, my cooking, I use this oil. Because it's not gonna be in the heat for too long, so it's good. And I'm just gonna put a little, little drop. If you wanna measure it, you can put like two soup spoon or whatever. So when that, when is that heating up? So I'm gonna cut my uh, tomato. I slice it three plates. And then I take that middle one out because you don't need that. I just like in you know, a line, that's what I do. You see? And then I'm gonna it in two pieces like that and then I'm gonna slice it into and then I'm gonna do this like way the way I did with onion I'm gonna slice it and thin like that you see that so I have my barbera is one Super spoon. That's how much I'm using because you don't need it too much more butter in a filter. You just need it for a little bit of color, okay? I just want to show you that's why I'm putting salt because I don't need salt so all of my family they don't like that my salt so I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt after you put a little bit test it if you need more just you can add more you know you see you cook it back just like that because I need this onion I didn't want I don't want it to cook too much I want it just a little bit Cook because I, you know, you need to stay by a little bit light. And 
my jalapeno. Do you remember I have my ginger and garlic ready? So I'm gonna put that and mix it. Like that. I'm just gonna cover it for a few minutes. You see how it looks so fine? They look they do like that. <clears throat> now I'm gonna put my burger. Do you remember? Do you see it doesn't have a that much lada oil? You see how it looks like? So I'm gonna make the heat low. So it doesn't have the burn. You see how it came together? This is how you, is it supposed to look, okay? Before you put your water. You see how it look like? So now it's ready for water. I have my water is boiled, so I'm just gonna put not a lot. I'm just gonna, I'm only making one injera, so I'm not gonna put a lot of water. I'm gonna see how it looks like. Because if you put too much water, it's not gonna taste that well. So do you see it's so thick and nice? So just a little bit of water, not too much. We are making one injera, so that's why we don't need. Just leave it about for two, three minutes. Okay, you see? Did you see that little oil I put in it? You see it now up there like those? That one is oil. When you see that, your furfur is ready, okay? Now you do that. And then I have injera right here. So I'm gonna put like, just cut in like a little piece. Put like that. Don't put it all in one place, it's okay. Just to spray out. And then take your mixer don't mix it okay just push it down so he can get the you know all those juices in injera if you mix it it's gonna smash it okay injera he needs to be alive a little bit okay just push down like that so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm just gonna cover it for just a little bit. So what I did, I just cover it for just like a minute and then I'm gonna remove from heat. So Yunjera is ready. You see how it look like? So you're gonna put in here how much you want. and then cover it. That's how you enjoy a look. You see, always check in the bottom, is no oil. This is how you enjoy a look like. So somebody's gonna test it and see how it tastes like, okay? Okay, when you test it, I'm gonna do testing today, okay? So you just cut this piece in general, and then do this. really good okay boys and girls I make a furfur that's how it look like I hope you enjoy it and watch it and share and subscribe and like and uh, I have the you if you need anything you want to know just uh, write and comment down there 
and then I will make it for you and enjoy it and have a blessed day. Be good. Good will come to you. Thank you so much and God bless all.